Okay, so I'm making a quick video to show uh, Blue Sky Bio's new photogrammetry unit. Um, so it's pretty small, compact, about the size of my hand, uh, quite light, light, lightweight, uh, and very simplistic in functionality, and it does a great job from what I'm seeing. Um, and I see a lot of questions out there, what is, what's the deal with this? So right now, as of this video, they're selling it for about $18,000, but they're throwing in like $6,000 or more, depending on what you ask for, um, uh, free implants or surgical kit and free implants. So, I mean, it's ridiculously inexpensive compared to what else is out there in the market. Um, so, I've only had a chance, I just got mine. Um, it's, uh, I've only had a chance to test on models. Um, I'll try to make a video later with patient, but for now, just so you can see workflow and kind of what this is all about, I figured I'd make a quick video. So here's the unit, comes with a calibration panel that you have to do every hour that it's on, it has to be recalibrated, that is, you know, to ensure that it's uh, very precise um, uh, and, and accurate. Then it also comes with six um, uh, photogrammetry scan bodies. I've got five, five of them on right now. It comes with six intraoral scan bodies as well. Uh, you can, of course, use your own, and you'll see that in this video, but it comes with those, so you can use those. Um, and this works right as of now, it works with the Nobel style, the more popular multi unit abutment. These just go right to the multi unit abutments. So that's that. Well, it comes with this carrying case too, nice and secure, so to keep it protected. Because you, of course, want to keep this safe. All right, pause. Okay, so just to show you the software, it's really simple. The install is very quick and easy. I've got it set up for Wi Fi. You can also connect it via USB. Um, but for this, I just named the patient test. That's all I have to do here. Now I'm going to tell it I want to, or actually I'm going to do a new project because, um, yes I do, um, because I already did this once. So now I want to do, uh, I'm going to call this a lower because I have it positioned like as a lower mandible and so I don't have to turn the camera upside down. Um, anyway, so I'm, all I have to do is click capture posts and it says, you know, how many posts do you have? We have five. And so we're going to hey, say hit start scan. You can see it's turned on. This is the record button, if you will. And I'm going to get it in position and I press go. Oh, sorry. There we go. That's the first time that's happened, but anyway. You can hear it identifying the scan bodies and there's all five of them. It's, I'm still scanning, but it's processing where they all, where they all are. There's a scan. And that, honestly, that was actually slow. <laughs> um, it's even faster than that. But that's on a model. I know it's going to be slower in the mouth. I just want to say it's quite efficient. Hit next. And here's your scan bodies. So you can now finish this. Click on export abutment meshes. And you can pick any abutment scan body you would want. For instance, desk or whatever. Um, I'll show you what desk looks like. Hit export. You can export as many as you want, all in the same export. Come up here, and now we've got um, these. So these would be um, ex you know, aligned in your ExoCAD or Three Shape software to your intraoral scan, and you would have all your implant positions recorded. So. Fairly straightforward, fairly simple. Hopefully that makes sense. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Thanks a lot.